I'll see where the where the wind takes me. Yep. Hello, we're the Jungle Giants, and we're at Groove in the Moo, and we are talking to youth today. Yeah, good day. Fantastic. Cool. We can pop this shit down. Okay. <coughs> Welcome. How are you guys feeling today? Good. Ch chipper. Yeah, um, well, well rested. Well rested. Yeah, we had a really big, nice sleep in the hotel last night. Yeah. I watched so um, a BBC on South South America last night. Oh, right. Whereabouts? Yeah. Like, that's quite a broad topic. Whereabouts? I fell asleep pretty quick. Oh, yeah. But um, it's that Attenborough sound, man. Do you usually uh, watch documentaries on Thursday nights? Uh, I watch documentaries every night to fall asleep if I can't fall asleep. Really? Yeah. What's yep. your favorite documentary? Um, oh, man. I, uh, you can. It's a well, tough one. It, uh, well, for sleepy documentaries, I like, I like Attenborough. Or a thing yep. called Forensic Files, which is like um, true crime. And they'll just rip apart a murder and figure out who did it. Yeah. And it's nice. Doesn't that just work you up before bed, though? I actually find it weirdly calming. <laughs> which <laughs> is like super weird. It's I think like this is saying something, something about you, Sam. Yes, yes, I yes, think yes. it's... It's telling us something about you. What uh, about you, Andrew? Do you do you watch documentaries as well? Uh, I do watch documentaries. I kind of like, uh, oh, I like things to do with like finance or uh, what? Like financial? So not surprised. Financial crime. You guys like, are weird. I, I like weird tax things and like the GFC <laughs> stuff. I, I think yeah. all that stuff was really interesting. Or like, yeah, David Attenborough and all that kind of thing. Um, have you ever watched um, Human Planet? So it's no. kind of like a anthropological. Look at all that kind of stuff. Is this kind of like SBS kind of yeah. human planet kind of vibe? It's like planet Earth, not planet Earth. Human planet. It's like it's kind of like planet Earth, but about how humans interact with their environments and stuff like that. Right. So it's really interesting. But um, I also like uh, things to do with uh, like uh, psychology and stuff like yeah. that and neuropsychology. It's pretty yeah. deep. Yeah. I'm learning a lot from you guys. Do yeah. you, is that how you prepare for a, a, sh a show like this for the Groove in the Moon for the tour? With calming kind of stuff like documentaries? Yeah, you know, it helps. Yeah. And you got to have your garden. Yeah, and on the, the opposite side yeah. of that, how do you how do you party? Tell us about how you party. How do we party? Yeah. Pretty. Uh, pretty I, well, actually, I have, I have it down to a T now. Um, What's the I like process? Have, I like to have four gin and tonics before we play. Yeah. Have you seen, actually, have you seen That's these? how I do it now? I've got it down now. Yeah. Four G and Ts. It's so weird. Like, before like, every, like, every first show of a tour, I get, like, really excited, really nervous, excitement. And yeah. Then, and then I have to have this four gin and tonic thing or else I'll just like you just fizzle have out to, well I just have oh, too much you, booze and I'll I'll start saying there's, weird stuff into the mic okay there's definitely a line yeah, yeah. there I, yeah I did that in Perth once yeah, I yeah. got a bit too drunk and I just I had I had a bad gig I said a bunch of weird stuff I don't even know what I was saying was it like half comedy set but I like I don't know what I was doing like people thought it was funny at first and then it was getting weird yeah. and they're kind of like I'm just talking too much <laughs> yeah I talk too much when I'm I'm talking too much right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I've had a bottle of Joe Davis. He's had the four GNTs already. You know what I was going to say then? Have you seen those videos going around on Facebook about like your day or your Friday with Arnie or something? Like it's no. stuff from a movie and that has the time. So like, you know, when you're going to work 9am oh, yeah. and then it gets to like 5pm and you're just doing crazy shit. Um, no. no. You haven't Sorry. Sorry. You know what? That, no. reference the reference didn't work there. That, that smacked into our heads and fell to the ground, that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. Sorry. Tough okay. Round. Okay. Tough round. <laughs> <laughs> back to back to festivals. What's the what's the weirdest thing that's happened at a festival? I was going to say in a cubicle, we don't need to go that deep if we don't want to. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty deep. Uh, but, <laughs> I mean, I think one of the weirdest things I ever saw... Well, the weirdest thing that's like, happened to you at a festival, yeah. Oh, uh, that's pretty deep as well. But one of the weirdest things I saw is when we were at Big Day Out, one of the I think it was the last year of Big Day Out, yeah. and we were watching um, Cursor. Do you remember when we were watching Cursor? Oh, yeah. Oh, Cursor at yeah. the... I don't remember. Maybe, was maybe. Keep, keep saying more. It was Sydney Big Day Out, and so we were watching Cursor, and we were all like, oh, here we go. And we're, yeah, I, I, know, exactly. I remember I didn't take you guys as Cursor fans. We, like, so. we, walked, we walked out, and we were walking towards the stage, and it was actually pumping. There was heaps of people yeah. there. Yeah. There was probably like 2,000 people just watching Cursor. Yeah. This little side stage. And he had all of his like crew with their bum bags on stage with like handy cams just like filming around. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, so of them, one of them had like a house... Didn't he have an anklet on that was like one of those like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, a, yeah like one of those like... Home not allowed home to leave house. Yeah, yeah. That's the new style. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it, it was legit or just like whether it he probably was, was really legit. fashion forward. I actually think it probably was legit. But um, yeah, anyway, we're like walking to the stage and we're like in awe, we're in awe of what we're seeing. Um, and then we just see this kind of really petite girl in like a very short jumpsuit with really dark Ray-Bans on her face. Real hip. Kind of walk, stumble out 
she's this really cute, like innocent looking yeah. girl, um, d- uh, like stumble out of this crowd and then just projectile vomit, like oh, almost man. like probably a meter or two away from it's us. Probably a picture we're gonna and see. And we were today. just like, mm. yeah. Just in shock. Yeah, <laughs> it actually, was amazing. It was I amazing. have a really good one. I just so remember the, sh- the set was sick. Then the set was sick. It was uh, yeah. He made people sick. I mean, <laughs> oh, he is the sick. He is. He is the sickest. He's, he's always the sickest. The sick so that's the weirdest thing that's happened to you. Was we'll you've seen? Oh, this is the first one that comes to mind. Yeah. Okay. No, and this is keep coming. Like once we keep. Thinking, okay. We're loosening the jar. Uh, I remember at the at a big day out and a big day out. One of like the after parties, at the at um at um, arcade fire. Had an after party yeah. in it's like in Adelaide or something. No, it's Perth. It's in Perth. Okay. And, Wait, was and this in, the I, one in the, it was June, the hotel room. Yeah. No, no, no. It was, it was it was at a bar. Remember they had a bar. They rented out a bar. Was or something. that the one it was with a the bar. tree outside? I f- there was don't drinks know. There. there was a kebab store nearby. I remember that. But so like we, we we were <laughs> at this place and um yep. and we were dancing and there was like a bunch of people dancing and I um because I kept fire were it was their party so they were like DJing and they were hanging around. And I remember, like, I was dancing, and then I, like, was dancing. I, I had my thumbs up. I was, like, had a new move. I was, like, working out, maybe. And I was, like, just kind of, like, throwing up? my thumbs back. But throwing them back. And then I remember, like, at one point, I just, like, did a huge one. And, and then, jabbed? But I Why felt my nice? finger I felt my finger go into something soft enough that it felt <laughs> like, what is this? But hard enough that it felt like my finger shouldn't be in it. Oh, no. And then so I then I was, like, Ugh, and I heard this, like, ah! And I turned around, <laughs> and and like the the percussionist for Arcade Fire, I had just stuck my <laughs> finger like, like like He's never like, <laughs> like a whole you like h- half a thumb of the bongo player. straight. And the guy is now blind in that guy, eye. And the guy was like, it was so wet. And the, and I turned around, and I was like, I'm so so sorry. And he was like, what the hell? And then like like the girl from Arcade Fire was there. And she's like, oh my god. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I love you guys. Bye. And I just kind of like walked away. But um, he was okay. I double checked with him a bit later, and and he and he was fine. He was I, good. I just apologized as many as uh, many times as, as, as I could. As many times as he could. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. He's a really good. Player. I man, I did a, I did quite a quite a few embarrassing yeah. things with Arcade Fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you remember I met like Wind, and yeah. I was like really fucking high, <laughs> and I <laughs> and I said like I just said shit to him. <laughs> I'm it's pretty fine. sure I tried to say I love your band, but I like actually held up his conversation with someone. And then um, both of them were like, that's cool. And then Sarah was like, Sam, let's go, go now. And I was like, love, man, love, man, love you, man. And then just walked away. But it was like really, really embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks for sharing those stories, guys. That's okay. It feels good to share it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you high now? I'm not high. I'm just embarrassed, actually. It's all coming back. Yeah. yeah, you're blushing a bit. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to wrap this up soon. Yeah. But uh, today, is there... Actually, no. I wanted to ask you that weird question because it's Groove in the Moo. It's meant to be a regional tour. Oh, yeah. We're in Waverly. It's not technically regional, but yeah. anyway. Um, what's your spirit? Speaking of farms, you know they're they're yeah, regional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your spirit farm animal? Farm animal that represents my spirit. That's exactly. Uh, Should we do each other's? Yeah, you do. Yeah, me, this I do could you. be better. Let's do that. So your spirit farm animal, Duris is he's inherently nice and loyal. <laughs> oh, you're a goat, man. Fun, fun to be around. Yeah. Goats are supposed to be really good companions. Are they I've loyal? Heard this. I've heard this. Yeah. Yeah. They're supposed to be loyal and and they're fun and like you want to tickle them a bit. I want to tickle you all the time. Okay, that's cool. I reckon you are like that middle stage of pig. I was gonna say piglet for me. <laughs> yeah. So you're not quite a piglet. You're a bit you're a bit seasoned. Yep. Yep. But you are cheeky. Cheeky. Good fun. Good fun. Pretty cute. <laughs> um, but you know. This sounds like your Tinder good. profile. Yeah. yeah, that is Tinder profile. <laughs> that's what Tinder profile. Um, yeah, definitely like the middle st- just. Up from being a piglet. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. That means no. A lot. That was really that good. And Thanks that is that, weird, guys. I was gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. That was really sweet. Uh, lastly, who are you keen to see today? Oh uh, well. Apart these from guys yourself. just saw a bit of Northeast. I was, I got lost, so I couldn't find him. Yep. But uh, we love Northeast. They are always amazing live. So they are. Uh, who fun. else? Who else? I I'm so. Panau, dude. Panau. What am I thinking? Yeah. yeah Panau will be sick. Really it's going to be pretty now. popular. My mom made me promise that I would talk to Nick Littlemore from Penal and, oh. and that I have to tell I have to tell him. Really? She like sat well, I was in the car and she was just telling me that I have to say that she does the dishes to Chameleon. She loves that song. Oh so. my god, that's so good. And I was like, no, I'm not going to tell him. But then actually that's like the cutest thing in the whole world that yeah. I might just tell him. That's great. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, thanks for chatting today, boys. No worries. Thanks have fun dude. out there. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, on yeah. Thanks, yeah. Wait, 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 what's your spirit animal? Oh shit. 
My spirit farm animal? Yeah, that's you it, can man. guess. You, you, do you want to guess? The farmer. The farmer? Yeah, the I'm farmer. I'm not farm enough, am I? 